You're home late again. I thought you wanted to go out and eat tonight. You work way too hard at this new firm, you know that, right? I'm sorry. Actually, I was meaning to tell you that I have decided to do some pro bono work for refugees. For, re for refugees in Hong Kong? thought they wouldn't come here because of the immigration issues. Well, there's about 9,000 from over 40 countries. Uh, as far away as Ethiopia and Somalia, all fleeing from things like war, and torture, and rape, and awful human rights abuses. But can you imagine though? Hong Kong is so developed and so wealthy, but then we don't recognize the UN Refugee Convention. All right, then why would they come to Hong Kong? <laughs> if you're fleeing from somewhere, last thing on your mind is destination. Please have a seat. Hi, my name is May. I'm here to assist you with your claim for protection and also to take your testimony. Hi, May. Your help is very much appreciated. I've been through this process again and again. I'm not sure if we'll get anywhere. I do understand your frustration. You've been in this process a long time and now you have to start all over again. I'll do my best to help you. Thank you. you know, I've been in Hong Kong for four years with my wife and my five-year-old daughter. And now we're starting this new process all over again in Hong Kong. I'm getting tired. I'm tired of my life in Hong Kong. But I still have hope. You know, in Pakistan, I was a lawyer. My life was not that much different than yours. I had my own life. I owned my own life. I could appreciate the finer things in life. Tell me, May, what did you have for lunch today? Uh, just a regular Chinese takeout. And how much did this takeout cost? Uh, it was around $60. Sixty dollars? We have to survive on bags of food from the government. They say it is forty dollars each day for each person. But I think it's much less. We have to queue two to three times a month to pick up these bags. But as with Pakistan, I picked up food two to three times a week. And the food here it's very limited and, and not so fresh. It's better if I just get the $40 and I can buy the food on my own and cook for my family. Better yet, let me work for that $40. I'm a very good worker. I can earn it. Sorry, I'm frustrated. No, that's okay. I'm sorry to hear that too. Let's get back to your claim. Could you tell me why you left your own country? Yes. I am an Amati Muslim. I was a lawyer in Lahore. I owned my own practice and I was representing other fellow Ahmadis who had been falsely accused of committing very serious crimes because of their religion. Do you know what an Ahmadi is? Please tell me. We are Muslims who do not believe that the Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet. Globally, we are minorities in our religion, but in Pakistan, we are persecuted and discriminated against by law. My life was threatened. My family, my wife and my daughter were harassed. Each and every day, we lived in danger. Until finally one day, they set fire to my office. 
and the government detained me. They charged me with the blasphemy. What do you think would happen if you went back? Laws against us across all of Pakistan. We have no rights. I'm afraid my family might be killed because of my legal work. No, I'm just trying to help people just like you. Please, tell me, how long will this process take? I mean, really, what are my chances? I'm uncertain, Tarek. This is a new system and things can take a long time. There's a large backlog of cases and so far the government has granted one positive decision. But we will do our best to help you. Light as a feather when I'm floating through Reading through the daily news Measuring the hurt within the golden rule Centimeters of ether, I'm heating the speaker Motivational teacher with words that burn people Seeing the headlines line with discord It's either genocide or the planet in uproar Never good Hey, you still want to go up? It's late, but we can if you still want Yeah, I do, but I just really gotta finish this Look, I know you're a good girl And you're putting a lot of hard work and effort into this But it's Friday night Let's go ahead and celebrate. We both had a long week. Can't this wait a little bit? But what is there to celebrate about when there are people around us who have no options? What, what are you trying to say? I don't really follow you. Do you realize that some of us are children of refugees? Well, I'm not one of them. My parents, they fled here because of the Cultural Revolution. And they came here by boat. They were teachers and everything was fine until they had to leave everything behind. Look, I'm just trying to say that if we weren't for them, then I don't know where I'd be. So, can I just finish this? Why don't you finish this off first? I'm going to go on when we get later. Is that all right? Yeah.